Hey everybody, a lot of people are asking me, hey Dave, lately, where the hell have the aviation videos been? Well, this is an aviation video. I know it doesn't look like an aviation video. There's a great big uh, RV behind me, but here we are, day, what is this? This would be day two of sun and fun. And they are out here. And when I say they are out here, I mean, we are in the overflow lot because we couldn't even get back there where all the other uh, hookups are. <clears throat> and you know what, actually that's probably just as well because right back there is the flight line. So um, it's uh, day number two. We're just kind of hang hanging out, watching everybody trying to make this riveting and fun approach into Lakeland. Um, I've done it, so, you know, check that off the list. Uh, but now we're going to get to see a lot more. We've got the RV with us, and we're going to get to see a whole lot more um, uh, of, of the exhibits. We're going to get to see a lot more of the aircraft and the uh, programs that are going on, things like that. So for those of you that have been patiently waiting while we went around the world, here it is. We are back to an aviation video on Quantum Fly. My name is David Carrier. I'm a passionate entrepreneur who founded a business in 2007 with a multi-million dollar exit in 2021. I've been a global sales manager, manufacturer, CEO, private pilot, and now I'm semi-retired. My daughter Stephanie is a former NBA employee turned successful real estate agent. In early 2023, we started QuantumFly Capital Group, a real estate investment firm specializing in multifamily investments. More than anything, we're here to show you that retirement is not as far away as you think, and we want to help you get there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Step number one, if you do plan to come to Sun and Fun and camp, step one, be here early. <laughs> because, I mean... Oh, forget we, about the other reservations that you could make for better accommodation. And this place is literally... Wait, on the text in the land, this place is literally packed, packed with trailers, RVs, buses, you name it. It's just crazy. And we got here, I mean, yeah, we were a day late because of our our fun. Give you a little, kind of discuss that here throughout the trip. Uh, we did get an RV, but we did have some issues with the RV. So much so that the, the RV rental company had sent out a couple of service texts today. Fortunately, it was, uh, Charlie, <laughs> fortunately it was, uh, they're close, I mean, they're relatively close by. I mean, relatively close, an hour and a half from Orlando, but still, they had to send somebody out here to service our recreational vehicle. But I, we're good to go now. We can uh, we take warm showers and flush the toilet, and all kinds of fun stuff. Wash the pots and pans. Wash the pots and pans. You know, Vern, Vern can, can keep his nether regions nice and clean. <laughs> Uh, let's check out this air show today. See him? No. I get it. There must be a fire going on. Did that still smoke? Is it still in smoke? I bet it hurts like a grass on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, get your cameras ready, your phones ready for this next test as Banchito's crew rings around for her signature photo pass from behind us, curving out in front.
destroyed or damaged. Nearly 2,400 Americans were missing. Over 1,200 wounded, and at the time, 960 people were missing. 188 aircraft were destroyed. 159 were damaged. Just 155 of our aircraft lay on the ground. Two battleships were destroyed. Three One of them in a pineapple field, not far from Hickam Field. A B-17 pilot, Major Landon, trying to land, said what a hell of a way to enter a war. Out of gas, unarmed, and no place to land. Amazingly, the B-17s actually made it to Hickam Field. Right here, French Low Center, that's our K torpedo bomber, followed by the Japanese at zero. announced our entry into World War II with these words to Congress, the citizens of the United States, and the world. Yesterday, December 7, 1941. Followed by 0114, second generation pilot Dan Brady, for flying tour for over 20 years as well, at Pearland, Texas. 0111, Second generation pilot Patrick Hutchins, also flying for 20 years for Tora in Bayou Vista, Texas. 0113 with Mike Anderson from Muskogee, Oklahoma. Here's our Kate 313 with Lance Summers from Midland, Texas. And in his backseat, up and coming Tora pilot is Chad Tuman from Pearland, Texas. Up high here is our Kate 356. With Mike Hastings and Joe Savage from Titesville, Florida. Followed by Ron Wright of Huntsville, Texas. He's been flying tour for 35 years. Tara! Tara! It's expensive, and it is uh, a waste it is lot of resources that we simply don't have. And in this case, we're going to have a 135 taking uh, take part here shortly, and off he goes. Now, a question for you, Divot, is... The airplane and the F-16 will just kind of cozy right up in there. Where there's a boom operator that's going to uh, going to adjust the boom and plug it in. It's huge. It's giant. I think maybe a little something appropriate here. Let me just jazz it up a little bit. Look at that. It's big. It's full of gas. Do the rehuing thing. It's quickly becoming my favorite today. The mighty KC-135 in all of its power. So it's, it's carefully put back on the ground. And there it is, the KC-135. This guy's One making note it easy, like, huh? One note about our 135, the, uh, the crew... <laughs> Okay, uh, here we are in the Cirrus tent. There are benefits to being a Cirrus member. If you look at last year, I came here to Senate Fund. Uh, same thing, they give us these nice metal tags and great view of the show, great view of the, we're right out of the flight line so we can see uh, the show. If we can stand the heat, probably a little bit better in the night show. But the gang's all here, so we got myself, new mic. It says two to three. Well, look, this time she actually could log and she was just lining things uh, up. She was just building up that, that moment to where 
She's going to take a good look at that ribbon and then get busy. Sluggish. And yet she's got just the right amount of energy to finish this. attention it's not going to work so we're going to cross his nose and this should really trigger the ball squat down a little bit all right ladies and gentlemen Bern wants to fly in this i contend he can't even fit in this <laughs> Dave's words, it's a literal crotch rocket. Anyway, all right, cool. You get that reference. So any, anyway, look who I found at Sun and Fun. How are you doing? The great Brian with a Y. The great Brian with a Y, who I did just realize, I was like, this guy looks really familiar, and I am subscribed to your YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I've got celebrities. So this channel now features celebrities of YouTube. <laughs> Tell uh, how's the, how are things going, Sunday Fun 2024? 
just got here today and I am having a lot of fun. Like um, last time I came here, it was one day in and out and it was just a barrage. Here I'm in the Gold Seal booth all week and so we've I've kind of been able to move at a much slower pace and kind of take it all in. Um, and based based on today alone, I'm having a lot of fun. I think I'll be back every year. This is this is a lot of fun. This is a good day to come, isn't it? It is. I mean, here we are. It's 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 Wednesday. Wednesday, thank you. Yeah. It's Wednesday. Not a lot of crowds. Mm -mm. You know. Uh, the flight line is kind of open. I yeah. was sitting at the Cirrus tent because, you know, I've got my VIP Cirrus. I didn't get one of those. Once I got rid of the Cirrus, those people quit talking to me. <laughs> You're dead to us, Brian. And, and you know, they, and there's nobody out on the flight line. Mm -hmm. It was just like Vern and I and just watching the watching the show. Great show so far. And what I understand is today is the, the I think, the hottest day of the week. It's, it's a little rough. It's not too bad in the hangar, but I think it's going to get cooler throughout. So I, I think yeah. I think this is going to be an awesome event. When was the last time you were outside? I was outside today when I heard the Constellation was going to do some flying around, and I, I ran out there and we, we caught it taking off and caught it landing, but it wasn't doing a bunch of stuff. So yeah. I I lasted about an hour before I needed to get back into the the AC. Nothing like a Connie yeah. to make your day. Oh my God, it was awesome. I hope the video turned out. Yeah. So right now there's there's overcast. Okay. And there's not as much sun out there, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Well, I'm I am looking forward to it. Um, I've, it's, winter is ending in Texas. It, it's 53 degrees at home, so yeah. it's kind of a nice change of pace. Like normally, you don't think of Texas as being cold, but I texted my wife. I said it's 91, and she said it's 53 here. I was like, I think right now I prefer this. I got so. I got the secret for you, and I know you've already been there. In August, I go to Utah. Okay. No. A lot nicer in the mountains. Cooler. I've never I've never been to Utah. Oh. I never have. It's on my bucket. It's on my wife's bucket list, so I'm going. Deer Valley. Deer Valley. That's all. I'm gonna just say that. You'll hear it on the on the video. Deer okay. Valley. She will be sold. All right. I will watch this video, there. and at that point, I will say, <laughs> you you manage the travel. Put it on our calendar. Let us know where we're gonna go. We'll fly out there. Awesome. Hey, listen. Thanks very much for getting on my channel. I need some celebrities <laughs> to up the subscriber rate. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time today. Have a great sun and fun, and everybody out there, don't forget to come to the Gold Seal Tent. Come to the Gold Seal Tent. Plug. We are we are doing trivia here. We will find out if you're as smart as you probably think you are, and you're a pilot, so I know you think you're really smart. Is this? Is, are you smart as a three-year-old pilot? Or it's something? very similar to that. The questions are real. A lot of the answers are pretty pretty unreal. So I, I was running the game today and cracking up pretty hard at some of these. Some of the options in the multiple choice questions are, are, are pretty out there. All right, we're here all week. We will have to check that out. All right. Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here through Saturday. Awesome. Brian with a Y, thank you very much for taking the time. And thank you for being on Quantum Fly today. All right. Thank you for having me. Light the candle. I'm listening to Oh, wait. Give me a second. That's just stupid. See how quick that happened?
It looked Italian. It looked Italian. <laughs> okay. You got three more coming in. Four more, Sam. Four more coming in. Yes, they are Italian. You know what the uh, Piaggio looks like, right? Look at the fuselage. And then look up the piazza. And you'll see why. Oh, there goes another sparkler plane. There you go. It's not the long easy, it's a different plane. Yeah, oh yeah. It's all by the way. Isn't that crazy? I got a fresh beer. No, um... What flavor is the, uh... I'll try it. Oh, look at this. Rock. Like, like, like a half. Like, yeah. That's fun. Look at 
what about what that rigid this is on this case? Oh, nice. It's moving. Because we got a different angle, you know. Yeah. So cool. Oh, it's a face. It's a face. How do they See do it on the right that? side? Oh yeah. You were there today. How do they do that? They do that with. <laughs>